regret the past. That's what brings us to where we need to be. We're all set. Have a wonderful trip. Five, four, three, two. Let's see what the past has waiting for you. Hi, this is Aurora folks in the Nocturnal. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great. How's everyone doing? I'm great. I'm good. We're good. We're blessed. Good, good. So I just want to start off by saying we don't often see a range of diversity in sci-fi films. Ridley, talk about the decision behind reimagining the characters in this film adaptation and Leslie, what made you gravitate towards it? That's a very good question. You know, for me, it wasn't reimagining these characters because it comes from a short story. When I read them, you know, you you paint the pictures in the colors that you know. Um, and that was the palette. Um, it, it was my world. It was the people that I know. It's the way it's populated. And when I read this short story 20 years ago, I don't know that I thought about it even with a the level of pro-positive or even slightly political um, need for it. But in putting the story together in all aspects and all the configurations, sometimes to the ability to speak the loudest is when you speak softly. So it's Leslie, it's Cynthia, it's Jaden, it's Frida, it's Orlando. They all represent in different ways, but that's never talked about because for these folks, the love they have, the relationships they have, the density they have, sometimes as brothers, sisters, sometimes as former friends, um, certainly as people who've had love in their lives, um, that's paramount. So for me, it was always very important because it's what I felt when I read it. Um, it was more important years later as someone who's out writing and directing and telling stories to say that these kinds of stories um, are right and appropriate for anybody and everybody. And then in doing it because you know, Leslie's Leslie and he's great and Cynthia's Cynthia and she's great and Frida's Frida and Orlando's Orlando and Jaden's Jaden. And I've been very fortunate to work with some amazing ensembles. This is truly one of the just in all regards, one of the best ensembles I've had the opportunity to work with. Truly. And, and Leslie, what made you kind of pull towards this sort of project? Um, John and I had a chance to um, start a, a friendship and a relationship on my on my very first film, Red Tails, um, a long time ago. And <clears throat> <clears throat> this brought us back together that we had a we had a meeting uh, a dinner and you know we all we, we stayed in touch over the years and um there was a uh he was a newly minted academy award winner and there was a passion in his eyes about the next thing he wanted to do and then he gave me this gorgeous script and um the opportunity to traverse in um a science fiction world uh, the opportunity, you know, the opportunity to to work in a space that you don't often see people of color in was um, too good to pass up. Obviously, in addition to to working with John, it was it was an exciting prospect, and it was exciting to watch. Um, and just to both of you to go with the theme of the film, if you had the opportunity to time John, knowing that it could drastically change the future, would you do it? Mm. I probably. Leslie. Would. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. Mm. I'm. I'm with Leslie. I. I don't. You know. People ask me all the time, "What would you tell your 20 year old self?" And I. I say nothing. You know. Every. I, I've made mistakes. They're regrets that I have, but they bring me here. And to be able to to be here, to be you know speaking with you with Leslie about a film that we made together that people find beautiful. Um, Every single thing brought us here. So I'm with Leslie. Um, there are things sometimes I wish I could change, but if it makes me appreciate my life more, it makes me work towards my life, um, the things that matter, pay more attention to my family, pay more attention to relationships that I have, professional relationships. Right. No, I ain't going back. <laughs> I hear you on that, I hear you. And um, Leslie, it's mentioned a lot in this film that love is drawn in the form of a circle. How would you yourself describe what love means to you? Mm. Um, hmm. How would I describe what love means to me? I mean, love is love is everything. Love is love is inspiration. Love is freedom and love is responsibility. Yeah. It is uh it it is um 
it holds you tight, you know? It's uh yeah, it's I mean, listen, I I've got I've got love love all over and all around my life. So it's it's hard to do, you know. Next time we talk, we'll, we'll start with that question. <laughs> we'll just do the whole interview about about that. <laughs> Got you. Well, that's a wonderful answer, and it was great speaking with you. Thank you for taking the time to sit with the Nocturnal today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a great one.